maisha yetu ni wewe tu naye tuongoza katika maisha yetu ni wewe tu naye tulinda katika maisha haya Jehova tunakuabudu na kusema Jehova winuliwe milele maana fadhili zako Jehova katika maisha yetu ni za milele inuka Jehova na utuelekeze tunapoliitia jina lako siku ya leo Baba tunaomba uwepo wako ukawe pamoja nasi. Baba tunaomba ulinzi wako katika maisha yetu. Baba tunaomba kuelekezwa na wewe. Maana pasipo wewe hatuwezi mwana wa Mungu ulie hai. Wacha uinuke na utukuke juu ya mambo yote katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amen, amen and amen. Naomba tumshangilie Bwana. Amen. Let's celebrate our Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to read a scripture from the book of First Chronicles chapter 29, 29, 10 to 13. First Chronicles 29, 10 to 13. Let's read together as we bless the name of the Lord this morning. We want to celebrate God and lift the name of the Lord together with David. David wrote, said these words before the Lord and therefore we need as well to celebrate the Lord in our life for us he has done even for the life that he has given unto us for the protection that we are living today is by the grace of God praise be to the name of the Lord the bible says verses verses 10 down there first chronicles 29 the bible says therefore david blessed the lord before all the assembly and david said blessed are you lord god of israel our father forever and ever yours o oh lord is the greatness the power and the glory the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours yours is the kingdom o oh lord and you are exalted as end of a whole verses 12 both riches and honor come from you and you reign over all in your hand is power and mighty in your hand it is to make great and to give strength praise be to the name of the lord is the lord who makes great is the lord who gives strength is the lord who has brought us this far 
So we need to come before the Lord this morning, lift the name of the Lord and celebrate the goodness of the Lord upon our life. Because if it were not for the Lord, we would have nothing to celebrate. But because of the Lord, regardless what we go through and what we can see, we have something to tell God, thank you for he has been gone upon our life. I want us to go before the Lord and lift the name of the Lord. Lift the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. As David said, at all times I will bless the Lord. Everlasting Father, I bless your name this morning. I lift you, Lord, for who you are upon my life. My Father, my God, we have come this far by your anointing and the grace upon us, O God. We have come this far because you are God upon our life. You have given us life. You have given us strength. You have healed our diseases, O God. We can stand today and say that, God, you are indeed God upon our life. Because, Lord, you are faithful. There is no one like you, Jehovah. You are God above all. You are gracious in our life. You are the Lord above all. You have done great things in our life. Today, as we stand, my Father, before you, we have something to celebrate. Because, Lord, you have brought us this far for your glory and honor. You have brought us this far because you are mighty and faithful there is none like you jehovah we bless your name this day for your presence and the grace upon our life we bless your name this day for your grace upon us oh god you have been faithful unto us my father you have taken care of our lives oh god you have healed our diseases my father you have preserved our life from destruction of the enemy and lord we are here this morning to say thank you for who you are we say thank you for who you have made us to be we say thank you for the gift of life and the, your presence upon us oh god Thank you, King of all the glory, for the things that you have done in our lives. Thank you, King of all the glory, for your presence upon us this day. As we begin our service, as we continue to the end, Lord, we decree your presence upon us, my Father. We bless your name because you are ever faithful. There is none like you, Jehovah God. We honor you today for your grace and anointing upon our life. We bless your name today for you are worthy of our praise, my Father. Thank you, Lord, for your grace upon our life. This day we surrender to you that you may reign in every place of our life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. You are everything that we have. And therefore, Lord, as I stand upon this altar, I magnify your name above all in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate God by a clap offering this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are good. I want us to surrender our lives to the Lord. Surrender your family to the Lord. Surrender whatever that is called by your name to the Lord. Bona sifiwe. Nataka tu kabithi maisha yako kwa buwana. Asubu ya leo. Mwambie buwana. Take over. Because by my own wisdom. By my own strength. By my own power. I can do nothing. But I will let you to be God. Upon my life. Upon my family. I surrender all unto you. Bona sifiwe. Mwimbaji akaimba akasema. My hallelujah belongs to you. My praise belongs to you. Myself, I belong to you. All that I have, there is nothing that we own in this life. Hakuna kitu ambayo ni yetu kabisa yote ni ya mungu. Bwana sifiwe ndiyo pasa ukinunua gari unapewa logbook. Ndiyo yionyeshe ni yako. Kwa sababu siyo yako. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Ukinunua shamba upewe title deed. Ndiyo yionyeshe ni yako. Maana siyo yako. So, in this world we have nothing it's only the lord who has kept us and will take care of us just go before the lord surrender heart to the lord surrender your family to the lord declare god's will to be done upon your life upon your family in jesus name everlasting redeemer we bless your name once again this day i thank you my father my god because you are god and there is none like you this morning lord we surrender all unto you we surrender all who you we are unto you. We surrender, Lord, our families unto you. We pray and declare this day that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that our Father and our Lord, you are God above all. In 
Jesus mighty name you are God who has brought us this far for you are able to do mighty things in our life therefore Lord we come before you we know that my father without you we can do nothing but Lord in you we have all that it takes therefore Lord we surrender everything unto you we declare your will to be done upon our lives upon our families Lord I decree your presence and mercy I decree your favor upon us oh God that you may walk with us my father that you may lead us in every way may your presence reign my father may your power reign king of all the glory may you take lead in our life my father we can do nothing without you therefore Lord we surrender to you we surrender to you I surrender all unto thee for you are God above all there is none like you my father even this church Lord as I stand upon this altar I surrender this church unto you may you lead my father my God may you direct us king of all the glory may you walk with us my father my God whatever we feel we cannot do Lord we know in everything you are God above all we surrender to you my father we surrender everything unto you even the project that we do oh Lord oh mighty we surrender unto you my father every ministry in this church Lord almighty I surrender unto you king of all the glory that you may take off and reign for you are God above all without you my father we can do nothing Lord I know the enemy has many strategies to destroy whatever that is happening in your altar but Lord I trust upon your name because you are God above all you have never been defeated from the beginning Lord you shall never be defeated therefore we declare every works of the enemy none and void in Jesus mighty name we decree every other plan which is not your plan may it be none and void in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I bless you today I decree your faithfulness upon our life today I decree your power upon our life today that Lord as we surrender unto you may you reign may you have your way may you have your way for you are God and there is none like you I bless your name today for you are everlasting redeemer there is none like you Jehovah in the name of our Lord we bless you and adore you in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen and amen let's celebrate our Lord this morning hallelujah amen I want us to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 9 and 10 Deuteronomy that chapter 30 verses 9 and 10 in Jesus name to some hapo to find your home because I Kwa hiyo pia nataka ukanjiombe na ukaombe kasi ya mikono yako ya kwamba chochote unafanya the devil will not scatter but it shall be of your blessing in Jesus name therefore the bible says Deuteronomy 30 verses 9 to 10 the bible says and the Lord your God will make you abound in all the work of your hand in the fruit of your body in the increase of your livestock, in the produce of your land for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over you, for God he has rejoiced over your fathers. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, and keep his commandment, and his statutes, which uh, are written in the book of law, and if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul. Praise be to the name of the Lord. When you turn to God with all your heart and with all your soul, God will bless the work of your heart, your hands. Praise be to the name of the Lord. He will bless the fruit of your hope. He will increase you. He will favor you. But first of all, you turn to God with all your heart. You obey as you want. Praise be to the name of the Lord. You obey as his status. When you obey God and turn to him with all your heart, without any Indian agenda, the Lord is there for you. Praise be to the name of the Lord. So I want us to go before the Lord and pray that God will help us, that God will lead us. He will bless the work of our hands. He will increase us. He will favor us because we shall also walk in his ways. Praise be to the name of the Lord. I want you to declare after me, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare today, by the anointing of the Lord, I shall obey the work of the Lord. I shall live by the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty. May you bless the work of my hands. May you bless the fruit of my womb. 
May you increase me in every way. In Jesus mighty name. I want us to celebrate the Lord because he is faithful. In the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. I want you just to open your mouth with your holy ones. You know what you want the Lord to bless. Just stand to God by your ones and tell the Lord, you shall obey his one. You shall obey his station. You will walk by him. You shall be faithful to him. You shall turn to him with your life and God shall be faithful to you because his one is true in our life. Whatever the Lord has spoken, he shall fulfill. He is faithful. He is not a liar. He shall follow his want to fulfill it in Jesus name everlasting father and bless your name today thank you for your grace and the faithfulness upon our life thank you for your presence oh God almighty thank you my father because you are God and there is none like you in our life we surrender our lives unto you my father we surrender our life unto you king of all the glory we decree and declare that God of all the glory your presence is with us my father I pray and commit everything unto you, Lord of all the glory. Help us walk with you. Help us, oh Lord, to treasure you in our life. Help us to abide by your word. Obey you, my Father. Turn to you in every way. And may your faithfulness, my Father, be eminent upon our life because you are ever faithful. Be with us, Lord. May you help us to love you and to turn to you with all of our heart, our mind, and our spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. When you turn to God in faith, he also turns to you with his power. You will experience the miracles of the Lord upon our life. That's why he will bless all that you task to do because he is ever faithful. I want us to read this verse in the book of Mark, chapter 11, verses 22 to 24, quickly. Mark 11, 22 to 24. I want us to go before the Lord and pray for our lives. Whatever that we feel is a mountain unto us. We want to decree to it this morning. Wewe unajijua naomba unjiombe. Hata mimi nikiwa hapa nitajiombea ya kwamba Mungu aingilie katika maisha yangu. Bwana asifiwe. Pray for your life. You know yourself better. You know whatever that you are struggling with. Mlima yako sio yangu. Lakini tuna mulima moja ambayo ni taifa ya Kenya. Tutamuambia mungu kwa hii taifa letu atawale. Bwana asifiwe. Atungeteka kuona mambo ambayo ayapendezi. Mambo ambayo yalikuwa kwa tika taifa letu 207, 208. We refuse those who works in Jesus name. We declare to that mountain it will never appear in Jesus name. The Bible says. Let's read together the Bible says. So Jesus answered and said to them. Our faith in God. I also tell you this morning to do what? Our faith in who? In God. Then the Bible says, for uh, swearly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and the, uh, be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says in Jesus' name. Let's read verses 24. The Bible says, Therefore I say to you, Whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So, first of all, verses 22, have faith in God. Then the last part, 24, whatever you ask, believe. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Have faith, believe. Declare to any mountain, be moved and they shall move. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Which mountain are you facing as per now? I want us to go before the Lord na tushukume kila mulima amba unaona katika maisha yako. Inaweza kuwa ni ya fedha. Umenjaribu lakini pesa ijai kwa mkono. Ukichukua inatokea pande ingine. Haijabakisha kitu. Nataka tumuambie mungu ya kwamba. Hiyo mulima ya ufukara. Hiyo mulima ya ukosefu. Mwana hakaweze kutuondolea katika maisha yetu. Iwe ni ugonjwa. Nataka tumuambie mwana ya kwamba. Miili yetu sio madhabau ya ugonjwa. Bali ni madhabau ya mungu. Ya kumtu kuza mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Tumuambie mungu. Hii mulima ya corona atuondole katika taifa la Kenya na katika ulimwengu mzima. Just go before the Lord. By your own ones. Decree what you want the Lord to do for you. And you shall see it in your life. Everlasting Father I bless your name. You are indeed God. There is none like you. We surrender our lives unto you this morning. I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that Lord every mountain that is facing your people 
my father my god the mountain that is giving them sleepless nights oh god i declare from this altar that lord from today it shall no longer be there in the mighty name of jesus christ lord i decree that my father may it be the ma ma mountain of finances oh god may it be the mountain of sickness my father may it be the mountain of poverty king of all the glory may it be the mountain of peace and joy lord i decree today from this altar that lord you are coming through for us we surrender every mountain unto you that my father you may work it out for us lord i surrender whatever that is ungodly upon you my father my god that you may take it over for us king of all and glory whatever that is in disturbing in even what that we do lord i decree today that god of all the glory you shall take over in our life you shall bless us in a mighty way lord every mountain that hinders your miracles in our life that hinders our progress in you i stand upon this altar today to decree and to declare that lord of all the glory may that mountain be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit of God, may you empower us my Father, to stand in faith to believe that you are gone in our life, that whatever that is standing before us, Lord I declare, I cast it out of our life, whatever that is not our, you are well upon our life Lord I decree and declare may it die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ in the seed of the devil, Lord may it die from our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we decree your way to be done upon our life. We decree your presence, O oh God, upon our lives in Jesus' name. We declare your grace and your anointing upon our lives in Jesus' mighty name. I bless you, Redeemer Father. You are God above all. You are gracious above all. You are the Lord of Lords, my Father. There is none like you, Jehovah God. I bless your name today, for you are ever faithful. Be with us, O oh God. May you guide us and lead us. May your presence reign in our life. May your power reign in our life. Every mountain, may it be moved out of our life. In Jesus' mighty name, we celebrate your victory upon us. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Asante Mungu. Kwa kutuwa na kila vikuwa sokarika maisha yetu. Kwa jina la Yesu Christo. Asante Mwana. Wewe ni Mungu na kuna alie kama wewe. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's celebrate our Creator for victory in our life. We have the Lord who cares for us. Bwana sifiwe. Nataka tu ni ulise. Nani kama sisi tulie na mungu. Ambaya anasema niambie, niombe, niamini, na nitatenda. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa hivyo, iyo ni kukuambie ya kwamba don't die out of the stress. Kwa sababu kuna mtu anaye kusikia. Bwana sifiwe. Inaweza kuwa hata wale mnakana wao hakuna mtu anakuelewa wala kusikia kile unasema lakini Mungu usikia. Praise be to the name of the Lord. The Bible says that he does not sleep nor slumber. In the book of Psalm 121, we are not reading but verse 3 says that our God does never sleep nor does what? Slumber. Kwa hivyo hata mindi na iti wakati umeamuka, umekosa usingizi, na umewasa ukawazua, wacha kubeba mzigo, mpatie yeye, he is able to carry. But just believe, speak it in faith, he is faithful to fulfill. Let's celebrate our Lord once again. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord for being there for us. Let us read this scripture, Psalm 119, to the Isoma 2. You will just read it, it is a prayer by reading. Wanasifiwe, it's our last prayer this morning in Jesus' name. So we are reading Psalm 119, verses 1, verses 1 to 4. Psalm 119, verses 1 to 4. Nataka tusome. Unapa soma, soma pia ikiku nenea. Verses 1 to 4. The Bible says, let's read together. Let's, I will read from the screen. The Bible says, bless are the undefiled in the way who are in the way who walk in the law of the lord so hapo biblia inasema walio barikiwa ni wale ambao wanatembea katika njia za nani za mungu verses 2 the bible says bless are those who keep his testimonies who seek him with the whole heart you are blessed when you keep the testimony of the lord 
When people see you, they see Jesus. Whatever that you do gives in glory to who? To God. So the Bible says you are blessed. These are like the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. Go read Matthew chapter 5. Ita kuongezea ya kwamba unabarikiwa kwa kufanya nini. And even Psalm 23. Psalms chapter 1. Ambayo inasema blessed are those who do not sit on the seat of scornfuls. But ambao wanakaa katika vikao sinaso mtukuza buwana. But we are not reading that. Let's continue with Psalm 119. Verses 3 the Bible says. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. So you are blessed when you walk in the ways of the Lord. Verses 4. Let's read together. You, you have commanded us to keep your precept diligently. Bwana amesema tuweke neno lake, tuhifadhi neno lake intelligently kwa utakatifu, kwa maakini, kwa kujali. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Let's celebrate our Lord once again in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Everlasting Father, I bless you this morning. I decree your presence and grace upon our life, my Father. We bless you and lift you because you have given us life. You have preserved us from the works of enemy. You have preserved us from destruction of the enemy. You have preserved our life from all the works of evil. We are here today to celebrate the life that you have given unto us. We celebrate the life upon us, O oh God. We celebrate the gift of salvation upon our life. Therefore, Lord, we say thank you. As we surrender our lives unto you today, we pray that, Lord, you may have your way. May you reign in our life. May you take over in our life. Bless us in every waking of all the glory. We are here for you today. Lord, we pray that you may minister unto us, O oh God. Minister into our minds, into our spirit, my Father. Transform us by your word. Lord, I pray today even as we gather before you each and every time that Lord we shall never remain the same but your word shall transform us oh God we shall keep your testimony wherever we go king of all the glory we shall obey you we shall be faithful in you we shall believe upon every prayer that we pray and Lord you shall come through for us bless us my father to be faithful to you in every way of our life Lord when people see us may they see you Jesus in our life the Bible says that we are let us to be read by the world. We are the light king of all the glory. I pray that you may make us good letters to be read outside there. That we shall become more lightful. That we may attract the world to your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you and I pray that your will shall be established upon our lives forevermore. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. amen, amen, and amen. amen. Celebrate the Lord once amen. again. Shout for the Lord as you celebrate the Lord this morning. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless Woo. your name today. In amen. Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Thank you.